Hello, we're back playing Divinity 2. Uh, we left off last time just talking to people, and basically my quest was to talk to everyone I saw in the town. So <laughs> I'm going to continue doing that and see how that goes. As painfully boring it may be for you, I'm going to continue to film it, but you can go ahead and skip ahead to any, any uh, forward time you'd like. Good lord, not another slayer. Stop disturbing me, will you? Or I'll never be able to finish. Aww. Lot of fairy tale believing infants, plain soldier, nothing more. I like his shirt. <laughs> yeah, wind follows pigs fly. I have to go. I have to get back to work. That was really helpful. Thanks for just insulting me. Um, I will turn up the sound volume for you again. It seems like it's been a little low. Options. Finally, the show can go on. Yay, finally. All right. So that guy wanted me to kill goblins and give, <laughs> give him their hearts. Maybe he's trying to make a Valentine's Day present. So I don't think I really have to talk to any of these guys. Hey there, Oops. welcome traveller. I am Lamotte, travelling merchant. Whatever it is you need, I have just the thing. Where are you from? To be honest, I don't really care. Let's see what he has to sell. He neither likes nor dislikes me. Oh. How is that? You'd think they'd be selling swords that are a little bit better than mine, but that one doesn't look nearly as good. Huh. Alright, well... I'd really like to get on to actually doing something interesting, seeing as all I've been doing is talking to everybody. That lady from the beginning, um, the Dragon Slayer lady with the ta tattoo, she said something about being in the barracks. I think this is the barracks. I'm going to go talk to her, see if I can talk to anybody else. Hi. That's good to see a new face in the barracks. There sure are a lot of guards <laughs> here. Yeah, sometimes it seems there are more military men here than inhabitants. That's mostly because the valley, uh, Dillet, though it may look, is a really hostile area. Voice yeah, acting is very good in this game. Goblins, but also, well, so they say, a crazy wizard. Without a strong guard presence, our little town would be a smoldering ruin in the span of a few days. Uh, weapons. Maybe he'll give me free weapons. Spares? Oh, I'm afraid not, no. Oh. But, but Dirk sells them at uh, reasonable prices, so if you need anything, go see him. Okay, uh, well, you don't have any weapons for me, so you're pretty useless. Let's go sneaking through these guys' uh, gear. Oh. Ooh, a book. Hi. A warm welcome to you, Slayer. I am Rodney, Captain of the Guard. Any dragons? Some farmers complain about dead stock, and a few of them claim to have seen a dragon <laughs> fly over their fields during the night. True enough. We are glad the Slayers are here to assist. Uh, he had a quest. The village itself has been quiet lately, but there are always the much check the wanted bulletins to see what you wear. The wanted there is a reason bulletin. this guy all the go. best. So, ooh, another book. There's books everywhere. What do these books even do? I probably just have to read them. I wonder. If, I don't know. Maybe they give me uh, skill points. Good to see you've arrived safely on the road. Thank you, Lieutenant. How are things hmm. here? As well as welcome, Dragon Slayer. If your duties do not keep you yeah, too so cool. busy... Is that the guy who, like, broke up the out. fight in the bar earlier? Uh, what? Sure, I'll help you. Capital. This is the situation. A sizable group of outlaws awesome. has been targeting merchant caravans these past few months. So far, we've not been able to locate their hideout. Neither threats nor torture can convince him to share what he knows. So, we need to deal with him. Often. I want you to help him escape. Oh, he wants me to help... What? Isn't he like the police? <laughs> He's a medieval popo. Sounds it's like It's a junk. bit of a gamble, but I'm convinced. All you have to do is go to the burnt-out chapel down the valley. 
There, you can find a hidden switch. Oh, secret. We've put in that cell for getting this bandit out. Secret cave, that sounds like trust. fun. After the escape, hear him out. It's fantastic. Good luck, Slam. Thanks. So she, I have to hand a quest for her, but I'm not going to do that yet because, oops, that means that um, I'm ready to go fight the dragon. Wanted. The following menaces. Claim your reward from <laughs> Look at these Rugby pictures. If you manage to kill one. That looks like a World of Warcraft um, troll. Bring his mask as proof of his death. Bring his mask. Bring his, as proof. Bring his rift. Ring. Rift. Bring his staff as proof. Bring his staff. Bring his sword as proof. Do you think I'm going to end up doing all of these? Probably not. Jag on. Bring his necklace as you So basically away. I have to kill these guys, steal their stuff, and bring them back here. Sounds excellent. Alright, I can... Ooh, a book. <laughs> Official seeker log. This incessant small talk makes me want to be creative with my blade. Tell me you have something to report so we can commence the hunt. <laughs> she's so sassy. Then hurry up before we have a murder trial on our hands. Ah, she's so bossy to too. Safely, so I have a couple of books. Do you want me to read a book to you? You want me to read a book to you? <laughs> we'll see what the book looks like before I read it. Many are the tales of Robin Wood, the famous archer who took from the poor and gave to the rich in an effort to clear the woods of beggars and vagrants who camped among the trees, littering and destroying the natural beauty of the forest. This sounds slightly familiar. Fiercely protective of the wild, he ensured the safety of all animals in its lands he frequented, constantly hunting down bandits and checking goblin progress. The volume details many of his famed escapades, such as tracking and killing of the giant goblin Grog, Grog Toothbasher, the Battle of the Blind Dead, in which he commanded a battalion of rangers during a nighttime assault on the congregation of necromancers, and the valiant rescue of Mittens the Cat of Princess Farika the, of Ferrol that got stuck in a tree. What a, what a valiant gentleman. I think we'll read the rest of the books later. How are things here? As well as can be expected after the So, I will talk to I Madame. Well, she asked me to do something, didn't she? Makes me want to be creative. Tell me you have something to report so we can commence the hunt. I then don't have anything before. to report. Okay, well, I'm not doing my job properly then. I'm supposed to be training soldiers! Hey there. Fine hey. day, isn't it? Um. Do you see a dragon? Indeed. Hmm. Near the big temple down the valley. Good. I'm sure those great red eyes saw me, but it left me alone. After being that lucky, I'm not leaving town before you slayers have dealt with the beast. Bye. Bye, slayer. <laughs> Preparing to autosave. Ooh, my quest updated. That means maybe I can report something back to what's-her-face. <laughs> hey, lady. This incessant small talk makes me want to be creative. Tell me you have something to report. It's so our lucky commit. day. Praise be the divine. Go on, tell me. Good. That gives us a clear sense of direction. I hope Marius will be back with more news soon. But in any case, before we go, I want you to enter the tomb in the back of the chapel. Okay. The next part of your initiation would have been the confronting of hostile undead in a crypt beneath the academy in Rivertown. Okay. To feel the wrath of a nether spirit for the Feel the wrath. There is a wrath in this game. To feel the wrath of a nether spirit. During this confrontation, the mixture of fear, elation, and the grim this helps uh, to She does the like to talk wait a lot, doesn't she? Ooh. What are those flashes? It's the dragon memories. They're getting to you. Take this key and face that ghost. <laughs> Hurry now. Let's go face the face a ghost, okay. Um, a mace? But that was- maces are for mages, so I don't think I need that. I can get two rewards out of six of these. So I'm just gonna take the experience and the money. Who will build the dragon defenses? Ooh! The local blacksmith. Leveled. Undoubtedly, that usually means he was... I can get something fun. And I can add some points onto my existing skills. Or add a new skill. So I'm gonna add a point into rush attack. Accept. Huzzah. Very enthusiastic. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I am glad it does that, otherwise I would certainly forget. Did she want me to go down here? Nah. 
That's the jail. She wants me to go talk to a ghost and then kill it. The last ghost I met, I really liked him, so I don't know if I want to do that. Maybe he'll be nice too and he'll just give me whatever she wanted. <laughs> Are there any pigs around here? <gasps> Goblins! Come here. Oh. Man, they're funny looking. Look at his little butt. And his bellies. Ah, oh, take that. Oh, that was nice. Ooh. A heart. I'm gonna go give that to Richard later. Topaz. Crystal. Shiny. Was, no wonder why they mugged him. Oh, hello. <laughs> So those are goblins. <laughs> they look really funky. Another one to add to the collection. You didn't drop any good stuff for me. How much time do I have left to do this? Let's see. One minute and fifty seconds. So I'm only going to be playing in about ten minute increments. I hope you don't mind. I mean, no one needs to see a twenty minute video of me running around talking to people. I can if you want me to, though. Yes. Die. That fatality is probably going to come in handy when it comes to bosses, seeing as it's a percentage. So if I get a boss down to 10%, then I hit fatality, the boss is dead. That's going to be really nice if you've got lots of, um, lots of health. Diamonds. Shiny. Uh, I'm going to make some bling later. I don't know how, but there's another town over here. Chickens! Ah, come here. Oh, hello, Slayer. Hi. Here. Do you mind doing me a little favor? Of course not. Wonderful. Please bring this letter to Derek the blacksmith in the village. He's wearing a grass skirt. Are you a hula hoop lady? But don't tell my husband. It's a uh, private, you know. I see what's going on here. She wants me to go bring a love letter to the guy with the cool shirt. <laughs> I think these boxes need to die. Yep. <laughs> Chickens! So that's probably her husband. I won't tell. He's probably a jerk. <laughs> I don't know. Smash! So, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. And, uh, I will just continue on another day. So thanks for watching.